A Cup of Tea, a short story by Catherine Mansfield, was first published in The Storyteller in May 1922 and subsequently included in The Dove's Nest and other stories. Mansfield's literary career commenced with the publication of her short stories in Melbourne in 1907. However, her literary acclaim was secured in London following the release of the collection in a German pension. A Cup of Tea delineates the tale of Rosemary Fell, a young woman of considerable wealth and self-absorption residing in early 20th century London. During a shopping excursion on Bond Street, Rosemary encounters a beggar woman named Miss Smith. As Rosemary prepares to enter a tea shop, she notices Miss Smith and, seized by a sudden charitable impulse, invites her home. In the luxurious surroundings of Rosemary's residence, Miss Smith appears awkward and ill at ease. Yet Rosemary is resolute in her desire to assist the destitute woman. Rosemary's husband, Philip, is initially taken aback by Miss Smith's presence, but acquiesces to his wife's decision to offer aid. Rosemary lends Miss Smith a dress, attempts to engage her in conversation, and even offers her money. Despite Rosemary's earnest efforts, Miss Smith remains distant and unapproachable. The narrative takes an unforeseen turn when Rosemary, driven by curiosity, inquires about Miss Smith's past. Miss Smith discloses that she once knew Rosemary's husband, Philip, intimately. This revelation disrupts Rosemary's perception of her own life, compelling her to confront the reality that her husband shares a history with this impoverished woman. Ultimately, Rosemary is left to ponder the intricacies of human relationships and the unexpected intersections of social classes. Mansfield deftly explores themes of privilege, empathy, and the repercussions of impulsive actions. A Cup of Tea invites readers to reflect upon their own assumptions and the often unpredictable nature of life's intersections. The title A Cup of Tea in Catherine Mansfield's short story is imbued with symbolic significance, encapsulating diverse themes and serving as a metaphor for the narrative's deeper meanings. Traditionally, offering a cup of tea signifies hospitality and warmth. Thus, the title sets the stage for an act of generosity, as Rosemary extends an invitation to Miss Smith, a beggar woman. However, the story subverts this expectation, revealing the complexities that arise when charity is driven by curiosity and a sense of superiority rather than genuine empathy. The title also hints at the apparent simplicity of offering a cup of tea. Mansfield uses this simplicity to underscore the superficiality of Rosemary's charitable gestures. The narrative delves into the consequences of well-intentioned actions that lack true understanding. Emphasizing the disparity between Rosemary's privileged world and the harsh realities faced by Miss Smith. Moreover, the title encapsulates the stark contrast between the luxurious world of Rosemary, symbolized by the tea, and the destitution of Miss Smith. In Rosemary's life, a cup of tea represents comfort and routine. In this context, it symbolizes the vast differences in social classes and the challenges of bridging this gap. The title also foreshadows the narrative's unexpected twist. What begins as a seemingly ordinary and charitable gesture offering a cup of tea, evolves into a revelation about the shared past of Miss Smith and Philip, challenging Rosemary's assumptions and leading to unforeseen consequences. Thus, the cup of tea becomes a vehicle for Mansfield to explore life's unpredictability and the complexities of human relationships.
Beyond its literal meaning, the title serves as a metaphor for life's intricacies. Mansfield employs the simple act of offering a cup of tea to delve into the dynamics of social class, privilege, and human connections. The story suggests that seemingly mundane actions can unravel hidden layers of existence and have profound implications. In essence, a cup of tea acts as a gateway into the narrative's exploration of societal norms, human relationships, and the consequences of impulsive actions. It draws attention to the contrast between the mundane and the profound, inviting readers to consider the symbolic weight of seemingly ordinary gestures within the context of the story's themes.